Dear friends, welcome to my video. In this video, we will see how to do image recognition or classification using the Google's Gemini AI tool, uh, the APIs of which in your Android app. So let's begin. I will create a new project and say image recognition using Gemini. And I will click finish and wait for the environment to load. It may take a while. In the meantime, I will demonstrate something to you. So say for example, you can also do it using their tool, uh, going to gemini.google.com, the app. And over here, say for example, I'll demonstrate with a couple of images. I just browse the images from my device. Say for example, one of them could be a flower. And I can just simply ask the Gemini, what is this image all about? So let's see what it answers. It will take a while to respond uh, based on your image. So in the meantime, I'll also do with some other images. Probably I'll do it for two images to demonstrate in this demo. One could be an image of butterfly. And I can again type the same message or question here, prompt here to the tool. For the first one, we got an answer. So the flower is the image. In the image is most likely a gazania rhizans. Uh, and also known as African daisy. Okay, so I'm not sure about the species and all, but this detailed answer. Same thing for the other image it's giving. So we'll do the same thing in the Android app and we'll see how to do it. So let's see if the environment has come up. So it has come up, it seems like. So I will start the emulator also in parallel uh, in the meantime. And I'll continue in the coding. In terms of manifest uh, file, the only thing which we'll need the permission is for internet. So that's all just define and then you can Minimize this left hand side. We'll definitely we'll need just the uh, layout. We'll keep the layout pretty simple and the Java code. So emulator is also coming in parallel on the right hand side. Just minimize it for now. I don't think I need that. Yeah. So if I continue, so text view is by default there. I'll definitely need it. So I'll just do one thing. I'll give it some ID text view and I'll also increase the size of the text which it shows. So say for example from 14 to definitely 24 sp could be better or probably even bigger 34 yeah so that is readable uh, whatever the output we get then i'll put a button uh, which will be almost on top and this button i can name is as image recognition gemini this is a demo that's why i'm giving it such a long name otherwise yeah originally i'm doing it center and i'm giving some constraints from the top and I will also put image view, uh, view, but before that, I'll do one thing. I'll import the images, a couple of images, and mostly these two images which I use for this demo purpose over here. Same images I'll import over here as an asset. So just go to your file, new image asset. And the first image was flower, so I'll just name it as flower. And then I'll browse those images here. So first one is flower, so I'll just click OK. And then you have to just do next and next, and that's all. I'll also import or the other image, same process. The other one was, I guess, butterfly. And again, I'll click here, and this time I'll just, yeah, and then do next, next. Let's see if all works out. And now I'll do one thing I'll imp uh, put the image view here and go to. MIP map and probably for the first time I'll do with butterfly this time in this particular uh, one. So here this image view just for demonstration or just a visualization for our purpose. Center, horizontal and nothing to do with the uh, AI part here. Now going here uh, in the Java code, first and foremost, I'll quickly define a method public void button image recognition Gemini. Again, it's a long name, but you can feel free to give any name. It doesn't matter. It will work. The only thing is you have to make sure that this particular method is associated with this particular button on click attribute. So if you scroll down here, I think I can minimize this. I don't have to need to see that. And over here, on click attribute. Yeah, this is what we see. Perfect. Now, if I go to Java code, I'll need a class variable for at least a text view part, not for the image view. Because for the image part, we'll directly capture it from the assets, whatever we have. So here, text view, find your ID, r.id.text view. 
okay perfect so now basic uh, part is done so let's start the coding so before i start the coding uh, i can do it from scratch i have published another uh, tutorial uh, on how to integrate google's Gemini api in your java code so most of the things i'll reuse from here so i don't think there's any point for me to retype uh, the stuff so i'll just copy paste as it is this method and then i'll adjust it one by one for my current uh, use case so i'll go back here and do a control v uh, i think the initially we will ask to uh, yeah i was expecting that so i think add library dependency so it will ask which to add i think it's the first one uh, if i'm not wrong generative ai yeah so i'll show you what will happen when you added that so it's doing some process here right so go to this build.gradle file and over here you should see an entry like this and the respective versions and all you can uh, see in the toml file over here like that yeah perfect so this is done now let's see what's the uh, here they are giving the option so so here they are giving import class this one yeah just do it then for content also same thing import class again they are giving two options i think the first one will work out and here what's the option they are giving um, okay just click alt enter and here again they are giving two options just go for the first one i guess just to find and okay so here uh, what's the option they are giving let's see so they are giving an option to add library this is to the path or add dependencies so i don't think this is the pack dependency firebase we need this one definitely so click over here and okay so this is not resolving so let's see quickly on again this file whether there's something for this entry i don't see that okay i'll do one thing i'll go back to my previous code I think what's missing is these two implementation uh, in the Gradle file. One is this uh, for the Guava, and the other one is the DFU stream. So I'll do one thing. I'll just copy paste from here. Control C. Go back to my. So it should have ideally identified. Mostly it will identify, but sometimes it may miss out. So okay. Just give me replace with new library. Yeah, do it. I mean, it's more of a cosmetic thing. Even if it will work from here also, but yeah. It's better to fall in line whatever their course is and then just click on sync now so it will it may take a while uh, however if, if i go quickly again here i can show you this guava and uh, reactive streams uh, things are added here so you can see the details of guava here and reactive streams here i don't know which order i think they are in here what's the logic but yeah at least it will work out now when i come here it is asking to import class yeah just do it no, no, they are prompting for the correct import class. You can either press uh, Alt Enter also from here, uh, and that will be also fine. So import class, yeah. Then again here, again import class. So Alt Enter, or you can click on that link also. Perfect. Done. So at least now uh, everything from the dependencies part is done. So I'll just do one thing. Uh, for text only, use the Gemini Pro. Okay. So I think for us it's a text plus image so i will do one thing i'll first and foremost i'll change the model name from pro to pro vision so just type vision here okay and i think i can remove all these comments this was from the previous one just know so i can just remove it to make it more clear the api key uh, definitely uh, it may not work uh, because this was for the previous one i will have to get a new api key so i'll do one thing i'll just go to my this one uh, this particular AI should be blah 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 and over here I just now generated two API keys however I will just show you the space uh, itself you can just click here if you don't see any API key from the previous ones just click on here and it may prompt you uh, this one uh, create it. and it may prompt you to enter the project name and then just click on here so therefore if I enter this and click here it will create a new API key it's free of cost after second of many days yeah, yeah things are going to change just read about it but at least as of now it's free of course so i'll just uh, click on any one of these copy it again uh, a disclaimer don't use my api key i'll definitely delete it after this uh, uh, recording so it will anyway not work okay so uh, once my this is ready uh generative model i think i'll give it a better name this time which is a generative model and i may have to replace this Control c Control v that's it and no, but here uh, the initial prompt is just a text part. Now we have to add the image part. So let's first create an image which is basically in the bitmap. So for that, uh, we can use 
you can create a bitmap bitmap something called bitmap factory dot the code resources is what i need because it's a part of uh, yeah this one is a need and then a method to create resources and the second argument will be the id of the resource so for that what i can do is r dot id dot no not id mip map yeah this one and then we can use the either the butterfly or the flower so i think right now since we are using the butterfly in our image group, so i'll use the same one over here and once i have the bitmap uh so prompt i can definitely change i can change to whatever prompt i have given here the executor same one so what is this image yeah you can use any prompt it doesn't matter uh, these tools are pretty much intelligent enough yeah and then i can add the image so for to add the image you have to just add image and bitmap is what you have to give as an input that's why i think resources will remain as it is so whenever it's success it will fix the user text and print it in the text view and if it's failure it will print the any error or whatever it gets so let's see i hope it works uh, uh, in one go if not otherwise we'll have to debug the code so let's see how it comes up so it will take a while for the first time run so everything looks good here no error nothing so running devices i think it is still taking time to load yeah six seconds okay so it has come up let me click it and see what happens whether it gives an error or whether it works out again it may work uh take time depending on your network speed and all and complete uh, the complexity of the uh prompt so it worked this time the image shows the monarch butterfly on a medieval flower click again here i'm pretty sure it will be some other answer it will not i mean the content will be same but some different lines probably is what i'm expecting here as it's a uh, artificial delete inside so it's like a uh, independent thinking every time and it should give different results okay so i was expecting it to change something it didn't change anyway in the meantime i could do one thing uh at least i can update the uh now from uh, butterfly to i can do something for supreme flower i was really hoping it to change let me click once again try in the meantime i'm just choosing flower also here Ah, see this change the text change right so yeah that's what i wanted to show that it will change definitely and he also i'll change it to flower this time so and let me read on the code and see how it comes up so this is a monarch butterfly on a flower so if i go here of course here they have given a much or more detailed answer so if you want a detailed answer you have to set uh, other settings in this particular model uh, i have used a very simple one uh, over here anyway so this is here so let's see what it gives for this one the output so this is a trans well daisy blah blah blah, blah species of flowering so this time it gave a longer answer if you click again i'm pretty sure it will change the line of course the content will be same but it will change the line perfect see so that's all I wanted to show you. Uh, you can do image recognition uh, by using this Gemini uh, uh, Pro Vision model. Uh, rest of things remains as it is mostly, and the only thing is you have to give the image input in the form of bitmap. So I hope this video is useful to you. If you have any questions or suggestions, then please put it in the comment section below. And if you like this video, then please subscribe to my channel. Thank you and have a nice day. Bye.